know that this video has just been me saying it's cute, it's adorable, I'm obsessed, I love it, it's beautiful, but it is. Hey guys, it's Barb's and today I'm going to be doing a Target clothing haul. This is stuff that I've gotten since the beginning of 2021. You guys know I love Target and I love Target fashion. I am not someone who is willing to spend a lot of money on clothes. I don't think that spending a lot of money on clothes makes them better necessarily. Because I'm not one of those people that will just buy a bunch of stuff for the video. Like this is genuinely pieces that I wear all the time and will wear. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out and if you want to see what I've gotten at Target then just keep on watching. The first thing are these earrings. I'm obsessed with these. They are so cute to me. I love anything celestial. I tried to put them on the opposite ears so the moon's faced out and they stuck out like this kind of so Maybe there's just like one way to wear them. Also, the other piece that I got, these necklaces, they came together in a pack actually, but obviously you could wear them separately or whatever. And they will go a little bit longer, but I just kind of liked them kind of close to my neck. Both of these pieces are by Wild Fable and Wild Fable's jewelry is extremely affordable. These were like $6 and this set was maybe like seven or eight. So I'm not really big into jewelry, honestly. I don't wear it on a daily basis, but when I do want to spice up my look or something, I want to do it in an affordable way. I'm also afraid to lose fine jewelry so from wild fable i got this hoodie honestly i just love the colors on this hoodie it's just so beautiful i love the pink and the blue and i try to not go overboard with the tie-dye because i definitely know it's like a trend oh my necklace just broke a few moments later got it i fixed it you guys i tied the strings like this because that's what the model was doing in the picture online and i thought it was super adorable and it just adds like a little extra something something next thing i got from wild fable are these shorts so these are the highest rise mom shorts i didn't have a pair of black denim shorts and i saw these had to get them i have them already in two other colors which are also available the same ones that i bought last year i have them in a light wash and a dark wash i will say when you go into the store you see how like it's all distressed and stuff? That is not how the shorts look in the store. It's like someone cut them with scissors. They're completely flat and it takes one wash and then they start looking distressed like that. It's perfect for summer. We are very far away from that it feels here in Alabama. We're in the middle of an ice storm right now. <laughs> Another pair of denim. These are the highest rise mom jean. If you can't tell, I really, really love the mom jean cut. It's flattering on me because I have no ass. I already have these in like a light wash and like a medium wash. They're super comfortable and I get mine in a size two. I always cuff my mom jeans even though they're not too long for me, but I just feel like they look better on me that way. Last product from Wild Fable, um, I got these biker shorts. I personally prefer to wear my bike shorts with like a big t-shirt so it kind of covers my butt. If you've already tried their biker shorts, they're very true to size. I have three pairs of black ones and they're like very consistent and the gray ones fit just like the black ones. But if you get the color, they do not fit the same. To me, they are much tighter and I got these in a small as well. You can see that the gray ones are just a little bit bigger and for me, that's a little more comfortable. If you're online and you're looking at the olive green color, this is what they look like. They are not at all olive green. They're like this leafy green. I don't know. I don't love these. Moving on to another Target exclusive brand that I have been recently loving a lot of their stuff. This is a bralette from Colsey. I got this recommendation from Nicole Cutler um, on Instagram. I took her recommendation because we have like sister bra sizes. I honestly usually just can't wear bralettes. I'm a 32 triple D and I got a medium. I of course got black and I actually have one on right now in this beautiful like rose mauve color. So comfy. I wear these around the house all the time. I'm not like falling out of it. You know, when people are like, feel like you're not wearing a bra. This is like the closest thing. I'm obsessed with these and they were only like $7. Also from Colsey, I got these super cute sets. This is technically called a bra me, a bra cami. This is not a bra. <laughs> at all this is like a crop top it's very very thin if you have anything more than like a b cup you're probably not going to be able to wear this as a bra because it is so thin there's like no support these are velvet they are so soft you can get the matching bike shorts i got it in this black of course and then you guys know i'm obsessed with pink look at this is this not freaking gorgeous so i got the bottoms in a small and they fit 
perfectly just like the um, Wild Fable back shorts, but I will say the sizing is kind of inconsistent with the tops. The pink top, I got a large because that's all they had left. The black, I got in a medium. Honestly, they don't fit that differently. I did originally buy the black one in a large too, and it was way bigger than the pink. I got this amazing Joy Lab jogger set. This is a cropped sweatshirt. I got it in a medium and then I got the joggers in an extra small. I always get extra small mostly for length because I'm only 5'1". I'm obsessed with this. I've already worn it once and I love the faded vintage look of it. It's so soft and comfortable and it's thicker material too so it's gonna keep you warm. I really wanted the like nude tan color. Then I looked online and they didn't have any more colors available in my size. I just got these yesterday and I was so stoked when I saw them in store because I had kind of looked at them on Line, but it looked like they were out of stock. Not only are they already only $10 and they were on sale for 20% off. These are actually from the brand Cat and Jack, which is their kids brand. I got these in a size six. I normally wear these types of sandals in a size eight and they fit me perfectly. I have these in white and black too. They're from the Shade and Shore brand, but they're identical. I got them last year, but they have those shoes again this year. So if you're wanting to get some Birkenstock dupes, do not pay $40 for Birkenstocks that are just made out of croc material. Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. And I did purchase a swimsuit. I only have one and it's the one in this picture. I got rid of all the other ones because I just didn't like the way they felt or the way they looked or whatever. So I needed at least one other one. Really, really picky about my swimsuits. I have to have high-waisted, preferably the high-cut leg. I have to have straps, not like detachable straps because I feel like that's a disaster waiting to happen. I usually don't like them with underwire, but when I tried this one on, I was thoroughly impressed. This is from the brand Exhilaration. I get the size D double D. I took the pads out of this and it actually made there be more room. There's two layers of material here so like my nipples don't show through they are that super high-waisted high-cut leg I love these and the pattern is adorable get you a swimsuit I think they're actually on sale right now when this video goes up so almost forgot this one last piece and the reason I almost forgot it is because I'm returning it the all-in-motion high-waisted leggings pick these up because they were on clearance it's like you know what I don't even own a pair of workout leggings but I totally forgot they run really really small like I tried on one of their bras one time it just did not work for me they have this mesh panel in the back and I honestly didn't even notice that until I got home because you know, you can't try anything on in the store. They're really tight in the waist. Like I said, I'm really short, so they are supposed to be 7 8 length, but they're full length on me. And that probably has something to do with why the fit is so weird because it's meant to like stop at the bottom of your calf. They just fit really strange, like kind of baggy, and then they have like this weird wrinkling effect around my crotch. Also, the mesh is kind of itchy. Like I can see if you're doing too much physical activity, it would kind of itch. They were on clearance for $20 still, so they weren't that cheap. So I am returning them. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.